Samsung Electronics, a world leader in advanced semiconductor technology, today showcased a series of cutting-edge semiconductor solutions set to drive digital transformation through the decade at Samsung Tech Day 2022. An annual conference since 2017, the event returned to in-person attendance at the Signia by Hilton San Jose Hotel after three years. This year's event, attended by more than 800 customers and partners, featured presentations from Samsung Memory and System LSI business leaders including Jung Bae Lee, President and Head of the Memory Business, Yong In Park, President and Head of the System LSI Business, and Zeyun Jung, Executive Vice President and Head of Device Solutions America's Office, on the company's latest advancements and its vision for the future. In the morning session of this year's Tech Day, the system LSI business emphasized its goal of becoming a total solution fabless through maximizing the synergy between its unique and wide-range product lineup. As Samsung Electronics fabless IC Design House, the system LSI business currently offers around 900 products, which include SOC, image sensor, modem, display driver IC, power management IC, and security solutions. The system LSI business not only makes leading individual products, but is also a total solution provider that can merge the various logic technology into one platform in order to deliver optimized solutions to customers. In an age that requires machines to learn and think as people do, the importance of logic chips, which play the roles of the brain, heart, nervous system, and eyes, is growing to unprecedented levels, said Young in Park president and head of the system LSI business at Samsung Electronics. Samsung will converge and combine its technology embedded in various products like SOC, sensor, DDI, and modem in order to lead the fourth industrial revolution as a total solution provider. The fourth industrial revolution was a key theme in system LSI's Tech Day sessions. The system LSI business logic chips are crucial physical foundations of hyper-intelligence, hyper-connectivity, and hyper-data, which are the key areas of the fourth industrial revolution. Samsung Electronics aims to enhance the performance of these chips to a level at which they can carry out human tasks just as well as people can. With this vision in mind, the system LSI business is focusing on improving the performance of its essential IP-like NPU and modem, as well as innovating CPU and GPU technology by collaborating with global industry-leading companies. The system LSI business is also continuing its work on ultra-high resolution image sensors, so that its chips can capture images as the human eye does, and also has plans for sensors that can play the role of all five of the human senses. Samsung Electronics revealed a number of advanced logic chip technology for the first time at the Tech Day booth, including 5G, Exynos Modem 5300, Exynos Auto V920, and QD OLED DDI, which are essential parts of various industries such as mobile, home appliance, and automotive. Chips that were newly released or announced this year including premium mobile processor Exynos 2200 was also on display along with the 200 megapixels ISO Cell HP3, the image sensor with the industry's smallest 0.56 micrometer pixels, built on the most advanced 4 nanometer EUV process, and combined with cutting-edge mobile, GPU, and NPU technology, the Exynos 2200 provides the finest experience for smartphone users. The ISO Cell HP3, with a 12% smaller pixel size than the predecessor's 0.64 micrometers, can enable an approximately 20% reduction in camera module surface area, allowing smartphone manufacturers to keep their premium devices slim. Samsung showcased its ISO Cell HP3 in action by showing the attendees of Tech Day. The picture quality of photographs taken with a 200 megapixels sensor camera as well as demonstrating the workings of System LSI's fingerprint security IC for biometric payment cards. That combines a fingerprint sensor, secure element, and secure processor, 
adding an extra layer of authentication and security in payment cards. In a year marking 30 years and 20 years of leadership in DRAM and NAND flash memory respectively, Samsung unveiled its 5th generation 10 nanometers class DRAM as well as 8th and 9th generation VNAND, affirming the company's commitment to continue providing the most powerful combination of memory technologies over the next decade. Samsung also emphasized how the company will demonstrate greater resilience through collaborative partnerships in the face of new industry challenges. One trillion gigabytes is the total amount of memory Samsung has made since its beginning over 40 years ago. About half of that trillion was produced in the last three years alone, indicating just how fast digital transformation is progressing, said Chung Beri, president and head of the memory business at Samsung Electronics. As advances in memory bandwidth, capacity and power efficiency enable new platforms and these, in turn, stimulate more semiconductor innovations. We will increasingly push for a higher level of integration on the journey toward digital coevolution. Samsung's 1B DRAM is currently under development with plans for mass production in 2023. To overcome challenges in DRAMs scaling beyond the 10 nanometers range, the company has been developing disruptive solutions in patterning, materials and architecture, with technology like high-K material well underway. The company then highlighted upcoming DRAM solutions such as 32 gigabit DDR5 DRAM, 8.5 gigabit per second LPDDR5 X DRAM and 36 gigabit per second. GDDR7 DRAM that will bring you capabilities to data center, HPC, mobile, gaming and automotive market segments. Expanding beyond conventional DRAM, Samsung also underscored the importance of tailored DRAM solutions such as HBM PIM, AX DIM and CXL that can fuel system level innovation in better handling the explosive growth of data worldwide. Since its inception a decade ago, Samsung's VNAND technology has progressed through eight generations, bringing 10 times the layer count and 15 times the bit growth. Samsung's most recent 512 gigabit 8th generation VNAND features a bit density improvement of 42%, attaining the industry's highest bit density among 512 gigabit triple level cell memory products to date. The world's highest capacity 1 terabit TLC VNAND will be available to customers by the end of the year. The company also noted that its 9th generation VNAND is under development and slated for mass production in 2024. By 2030, Samsung envisions stacking over 1,000 layers to better enable data-intensive technologies of the future. As AI and big data applications drive the need for faster and higher capacity memory, Samsung will continue to leapfrog bit density by accelerating the transition to quad-level cell, while further enhancing power efficiency in support of more sustainable customer operations worldwide. Samsung introduced an extensive portfolio of storage solutions spanning data center, enterprise server, mobile, client, consumer, and automotive applications. The company highlighted its high performance, low-power computational storage optimized for AI, and how it can contribute to echo-conscious computing. Samsung also presented a new DRAM-less SSD, the PM9C1A, which supports both PCIe 4.0 and 5.0. Samsung then shared aggressive plans to lead the industry in intelligent mobility solutions. The company discussed its wide-ranging memory offerings designed for every modern automotive function, from in-vehicle infotainment, autonomous driving and advanced driver-assisted systems, clusters and gateways to telematics. Since entering the automotive memory market in 2015, Samsung has been rapidly growing its market presence with the intent of becoming the largest automotive memory provider by 2025, reaffirming its overriding goals of enhancing customer value and pursuing a customer-oriented development philosophy. Samsung stressed its intent to further expand its ecosystem partnerships. To stimulate more widespread open innovation, Samsung revealed a key element of its blueprint for greater customer collaboration. The company will open a Samsung Memory Research Center, 
where customers and partners can test and verify Samsung memory and software solutions in various server environments. Beginning with the opening of its first SMRC in Korea in the fourth quarter of this year, Samsung plans to later launch additional hubs in the US and around the world, in collaboration with ecosystem partners like Red Hat and Google Cloud.